Jeremiah 33 verse 1 while Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the God the word of the Lord came to him a second time he was behind bars Jeremiah the prophet sent by God to go and prophesy to the house of Israel and in particular to the prophets the Bible says he was still confined he was still without freedom he was still in trouble he was still under captivity and yet the Bible shows that God used him while he was still in those circumstances. God used Jeremiah while he was still having leg irons and carved in prison. You may be going through hard times. God wants to use you. You may have hit very difficult moments in life. God wants to speak to you. The word he gave to Jeremiah was a word of restoration. The house of Israel had been in captivity for years. There are people out there, my dear brother. They appear to be enjoying, but there's no joy. They are not. They are not. They, are, they, 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 they appear to be alive. They are not. God wants to use you. The moment you stop looking at the circumstances surrounding you and say yes to God, here I am, use me the better. There's a word of restoration that God wants to plant in your life, as he did to Jeremiah. He's saying he was still in, not at the end of the problem or incarceration, he was still in prison. And yet God visited him, not once, he says, the Bible says, for the second time. For the second time, God would have wanted to use other people who were free away from the prisons, but he visited Jeremiah. The darker it becomes, the brighter the light should be. Your down moments should be illuminated by the word, the faith that drives mountains. There's a word of encouragement which God planted in your heart. Stand up and speak it. You may be out of employment. Stand up and speak it. You may be going through difficult relational problems, but God has planted a word of restoration. The same way he did to Jeremiah, he is doing it, he's still doing it today. Arise and shine. Forget about the leg irons. Forget about the embarrassments, the discouragements, the disappointments, the quarrels. God says, I want you to go and pass on the message of restoration to my house of Israel. Will you be obedient to your God today? Don't count the number of discouragements, moments of sadness. Don't remember them. Why not look at the cross?
Why not focus your attention on, the, on your creator? In the, in the gospel of St. Matthew chapter 6, the Bible, you know, the, the Bible says, Seek ye his kingdom first and everything else shall be added. The freedom Jeremiah wanted was to come. But however, in his circumstances of being behind bars, God did not forget him. He did not forsake him. God cannot forget you. He has not forgotten about your problems. He knows your A to Z. Your beginnings, He knows them. In the end game, it's all in His hands. While Jeremiah was still in prison, still in circumstances, just as good as you are. You may not be in a physical jail, but you may be still in a spiritual prison. You are in a cocoon. You read about freedom. You read about deliverance. But it's something that has never been an opportunity time for you to experience. Jeremiah was still in circumstances. God used him. It doesn't matter you're a single parent. God still can use you. It doesn't matter children have abandoned you. God can still use you. It doesn't matter you're out of your job. God wants to use you. It's a circumstance. Yes. But one that will never militate against what God has planned for you to do. May God bless you. May you think again. The Lord Almighty wants you to take this message. It's not, it's not just for you. He wants you to take this message. into the world. There are people in Babylon of today. It needs you. Thank you. God bless. God bless.